Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Forest River. Well, as you can see, uh, this is not our original house. Um, we have had some big changes. Big, big changes here on the farm. So, let's, uh, let's walk around and take a look at them here. So, we tore down the old house, built ourselves a brand new house. Uh, we also built a little garden shed here. Before I start opening doors, I'm going to make sure... Okay, let's turn that off. So I don't end up grabbing something. Um, we built a little shed here. If I can get through the door. Apparently not. I've been through it before. Hmm. Okay, how about let's open the door. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So in here, we have a John Deere... 4066 um, open station. We have a loader on it. Uh, 72 inch mower deck. We have a set of pallet forks as well as a uh, bucket for it. Let's close that door. Uh, we have a box blade for it here for blading the yard. We got uh, old wagon wheel. If we run over here. We got an old tractor, old plow, old wagon, and uh, American flag here. If we come around. I guess we can uh, open the garage door here quick. Enter the code. So we still have our original uh, Dodge pickup that we came here with. But we also bought this uh, 2021 Ford F350 uh, 6.7 Power Stroke. It's a crew cab long box, and we do have the gooseneck in it as well, so we can use this for towing, things of that sort. Um, we did move our three original bins. As you guys can see, here are the three bins. Um, here's our old Westfield um, conveyor. Or I guess uh, unload auger, I should say. Um, and then we put up three hopper bins right here. And then if we go around the back side, we've got a 24-foot uh, uh, Demco header trailer with a Suncut uh, 876 Sunflower header on it. Uh, here we have a John Deere 635F uh, grain head with the Crary air rail system on it. Uh, we also have the soybean snouts. Um, and then we got a 38 foot Demco trailer. This header is sliding a little bit. I got to reposition it at some point. And then we have a John Deere 1243. Um, corn head on a 32 foot Demco trailer oh, my keyboard's acting up uh, grandma and grandpa decided to tear down their house and they bought a house in town so over here we put up two Bale storage buildings. 
And then we've got our uh, John Deere 1275 hay wagon. This is auto loading, so, well, oh, our garbage can tipped over. Then in here, um, you can see we do have a DEF shuttle. Um, right now, the only thing that takes DEF is our power stroke. And then, excuse me, um, we did get another two barrels of plus 50. Um, and then you can see we have six shuttles of Pixaro. And then we got two um, sets of net wrap. I do still need to get seed in here. Um, we haven't done that yet. That's the only thing that we're missing. And then we've got a, I think this is a, what is this, 10 foot? 14 foot MDS snow pusher um, for in the wintertime clearing snow in addition to our snow blower. And then if we go into the other side here, we've got a Bobcat. 863. We got pallet forks on it. Uh, we bought bale spear and a bucket. And then we've got the original snow bucket and hitch or trailer mover that we had. And then we've got our lizard 40 foot land roller sitting here. Uh, we did buy a little fuel trailer. It does have an air compressor on it as well. Um, I think this actually is... Oh, no, okay. This is just the compressorator. So it's a generator and air compressor. Uh, we actually looked at getting one of those for our service trailer. But uh, we have a welderator in it, so we decided to keep that. Um, and then here we have two uh, sets of tanks. One is just water, and then we have liquid fertilizer in the other. And then we have two silos over here, one for lime and one for solid fertilizer. Uh, we still have to fill these as well. We have not gotten those filled. And then we have our farm fuel tank. Um, and then our road fuel tank is right there. So this is our new heated shop. Um, we've got... Nice little office space here. Uh, I believe this is a bathroom. Yep. And then, uh... We got the desk here in the corner, table, so kind of a break room because uh, we do have some hired people now. Um, actually, one hired guy at the moment, so kind of a nice little break room for him and anybody else that we hire uh, down the road. Let's see some lights on in here. So in here. Here is our John Deere 9610 Combine. And then we still have our Kenworth and our GMC General with their trailers. And then we have two Mac RS700Ls with grain beds on them. Mainly for loading like seed and fertilizer. Um, but it will also get used during harvest time if we need the extra capacity. We're just going to leave the lights on in the office for now. Um, over here we have a new um, Balin Quonset. So we'll take a look in here. So in here we picked up a International 1486 with rear duals on it and then we got the 235 loader or 2355 loader and grapple bucket put onto our 1086. Um, let's see, I think there's a light for in this shed. 
I think it's over here. No. Um. Okay, maybe the light doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we have an international. Um, what model is this again? I don't remember. Uh, 1590 conditioner. We got a Supreme 900T feed mixer. Um, John Deere. What is this? I think it's a 3955. Yes. 3955 chopper. A Meyer um, RT120. Uh, forage box. And then we've got the Vermeer BPX9010 processor and then the Vermeer TD 190 uh, tether the VR 1224 uh, Vermeer rake and then the New Holland 658 baler so this is kind of all of our cattle equipment uh, in this shed and then if we come over here we have a four bay commodity building. Um, beside it, we have the Teagle Tomahawk C120. Um, this is a newer one. I think this is by JHHG Modding. Uh, he has this, and then I think there's one other Teagle brand thing. Thought I'd give this one a try once uh, instead of just the oversized hay buster that we always use. And then we got the International 595 Manure Spreader. Um, over here we've got the Westfield MKX 1394 Auger. And then our PJ trailer there. And then we bought this Exus um, stock trailer. And then we have two more of our bins right here. And then we take a walk back here. Here is our silage pad um, right there. And then here's our monoslope cattle barn. So I'm going to get a nice little uh, track through to feed or to come in and bring cows in or um, scoop out manure whatever that whatever we may need to get in there for and then last but not least we'll uh, open up our shed here so we picked up a John Deere 8400 uh, with rear duels it is a front wheel assist um, and then our 4850 still needs to go in. It is going to get a loader. Wow. Loader. Apparently English is hard this morning. Um, it is going to get a loader. So that way in the winter time we can put the snow blower on the back. And then on the loader we can put that uh, snow pusher. And then we picked up this Mobility 1000 uh, fertilizer spreader. A versatile 935 four-wheel drive. So this is kind of our big dog here. Here we've got another Mac RS700L. This has a flatbed on it with the uh, fiber dash um, chemical mixing and the water tank. So we will be using this for spraying. Uh, then we picked up a Kilbros, what is this, 1600 uh, grain cart. So we will be putting that to work. Uh, and then we got a Mac, another Mac flatbed, if I can get around it here, um, with a tank pump. This is for liquid fertilizer. Uh, so this will be for tending to our planter. And then we've got the best way. Uh, Field Pro 1200 sprayer and then stuck on the hitch here 
We've got the Kinsey 3600 uh, 16 row. So we didn't go super huge on planter or cedar or really any of our equipment. Um, we got the, uh, what is this? SDX 30 um, air cedar with the 2300 cart. So, I mean, we upgraded, but we didn't go over the top. Um, on it and we actually didn't buy really anything actually um, if we go and look at purchased items we bought our utility tractor um, we bought the skid steer we bought the power stroke um, we bought all the attachments for the utility tractor and skid steer um, we bought the grapple and the loader for the John or the International 1086. Uh, we bought the fuel trailer. We bought the snow pusher. So I mean, we bought a few things, but most of it is on the lease program. So um, we did that. We did also lease some more land. So 28, 40, and 41 are hay fields now um, for feeding our cattle. And then we had 39, 60, and 59 already. And then we leased uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 43. Um, we're still dealing on 23 here and 22. Uh, haven't fully gotten the deal made, but we are working on it. And then we leased uh, field 37 and field 33. So we have picked up quite a bit of land. Um, I have not decided what crops we're going to put in yet. I'm kind of thinking... Uh, where is our crop calendar? So I'm thinking we're going to put some sunflowers in this year. Um, so I'm thinking corn, sunflowers, soybeans. And once it saves, we can look at other things. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking, I haven't decided, do we want to do wheat? So wheat's 29. So I think we'll do oats, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. Those are going to be our four crops. Um, but we just got to figure out... Well, we got to finish, finalize the deal here on uh, 22 and 23. And then, um, then we'll start deciding kind of... How we want to do things because we are going to also put in extra corn so that way we can uh, chop it for silage. So we want to have everything set and ready. Um, and then once we start getting some hay and some straw made, um, we're going to. Let's see here. Let's go back. What we're going to do is we're going to have the first two here of straw and then these two here of hay. Um, so then we've got a decent amount ground up for them and then uh, we can just come back here. We'll load up some straw and some grass. And then we'll drive over towards the um, barn to go feed. And we'll come in and grab some silage. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is our farm now. A lot of changes made. Um, I think this is kind of, kind of the biggest that this yard's going to get. It might get some more bins added maybe at some point, but that's going to be about it. 
that's kind of just the max of this yard. Um, there's really not much more that we can expand because we are kind of at the uh, edge of the yard here. So, um, I mean, it can expand a little, but not all that much. So, as you can see, here's our hay fields. Um, we could, you know, like, buy this yard. Uh, there is a nice grass area back in here. There is a couple of bins. I think these are the... Oh, it won't even tell me. I think these are just the 80,000 liter bins. This would be a good header storage, though. I wonder if we can get around the back side. Not really, but we could come in here and we could buy, or we could chop down some trees. This would be an excellent shed for headers. So we might, might look into that, might see if this is up for rent. Um, if it is, then we might do a little bit of gravel work and uh, some tree work and might get it so we can kind of go around this building here and uh, get headers in here and then we'll bring those three header trailers over and store them in here and then uh, we do have another bin two bins over here then and room to expand us some more maybe seed some uh, extra grass and uh, we can cut this area for hay so we'll see um, have to talk to the landlord I guess about it but uh, yeah so that's about it for today folks we're gonna get some changes made well see about those changes see about uh, getting into that land see if we can um, rent that building and the bins and then uh, get the headers over there but uh, then we're going to work on getting some seed, lime and fertilizer up here and then uh, go from there so um, yeah hope everybody enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in Thanks for uh, sticking along through this series. And uh, hope everybody is... Uh, hope everybody likes what we did with the farm. And uh, hope everybody uh, is excited to see where things go from here. So, thanks for tuning in, folks. And as always... We'll catch y'all in the next one.